All right, Jay here. We're going to give you an inside look at our Ultimate Dual Sports. We built two KTM 350 EXEs, got a 19 and a 17, and we went all out on these things and just made these things incredible. Stock, these things are around 34 horsepower, and now we're 50 to 52 horsepower on these bikes. So that's pretty impressive. We've got the Cylinder Works Big Bore Kit in here. Um, we put the SXF cams in here uh, to open up that motor a bunch. Um, got a vortex that's been mapped. This motor has been ported and mapped by Twisted, and this one has been ported and mapped by Racetech. Both came out really well. And then everything else, the mods are the same. Racetech did the suspension on both bikes and lowered the bikes. Um, one inch. Uh, these bikes are a little tall stock, and I'm a little short stock as well, so we had to, we had to lower them a little bit. Uh, one little, I'll, I'll show you a tip in another video on what to do when we do that. Uh, as far as the rest of the bikes concerned, those are the main motor mods with getting it mapped. And then we have the FMF exhaust um, to open the thing up. Got the two-stroke air filter cage in here. Blaze Racing has a um, clutch weight that we add to give it a little bit more mass with our hints and clutch, but it gives more weight, a little bit less likely to flame out, stall in the tight stuff. Um, dual sport wise, this company called Dual Take Mirror. No, double take mirror has these really cool mirrors we've made do with just kind of hokey mirrors I when I get on the road I really do like to be able to see well when I'm at and so does Spencer so we can actually un, undo these things and then you can put them right down here and they're really nice and solid and you tighten them up they're not going anywhere so that's really cool with our Renthal bars enduro engineering handguards enduro engineering has our master cylinder guard and we got our super sprocks chain of sprockets we went with the stock 14 front with a 51 rear um, Decal Works made some great graphics with uh, Moto seat, seat cover. I have one seat that's been cut a little bit that I'm testing with uh, since I am still a little short stock. And Bulletproof Designs makes uh, radiator guards to these things. Um, we already have the fan stock, which is nice uh, feature. Uh, we've got our SCAR foot pegs, got some really good foot, pan, uh, foot pegs. And I've got our UFO plastic on this thing. Moto Minded did the headlight for us and a little bezel with the Baja Designs light. We have the Baja Designs light on this bike as well. Uh, tusk wheels, oversized front rotor. Suspension's been done. TM Designs pieces. We have our bulletproof rear guards on both bikes and works connection chain blocks as well. We run the KTM stock frame guards, which are real nice. And as you can see, this is kind of the ultimate dual sport. Now, for all the electronics part, this company called SAR Racing, or Sick Ass Racing, or SAR Off-Road, makes cool blinkers uh, for the front and rear. And this whole rear piece goes underneath, and it holds the license plate. This piece is really nice. And then they have all the little things that I don't even totally understand what they do, but they work. So we re relocated our key down to here. Um, we have narrower switch here and it's a true kill which is really cool for those that ride ktms and dual sports you're always forgetting which way is which or or you're starting the bike and this way you hold the button down the bike is dead and it's also thinner so you can run the brake where you need to and the same thing over here this is much thinner so now our clutch is where it's supposed to be it doesn't rub and hit and we have true just incredible high beams with this thing and we have high beams select uh and Everything works really well with their the whole SAR uh, setup with all the pieces with the uh, that are in line into this thing, and it's a bit difficult to get it all tucked in behind your headlight, all the wiring. But we did it. It's a little bit of a chore, but they are pretty helpful in setting things up. And they give you a little bolt pattern where to drill holes in here and for your lights. So that's all really cool, and it's all plug and play. They use the stock KTM connectors, which is really cool. So that's a really simple uh, look at this bike. Uh, we've got a uni filter in here on our cage. And again, the cylinder works, big bore kit 366 isn't a ton. And we probably would have gained a lot of power by just doing all the mods we did and adding a high compression vertex piston. But since we were doing it, and I can, we went ahead and added the big bore, and it is amazing. So uh, Racetech, uh, Racetech did a great job on the suspension. And then we're going to have uh, David Pingree at Racer X uh, be riding these bikes. And we'll report back to you on how, how well that goes. We'll have a little footage of that. 
probably paste it in here as, we're, as I'm talking in some of this stuff with uh, Ping riding this thing out at the track and on some trails. Uh, we're going to check this thing out, now, out on some asphalt as well. So really cool, fun build. Of course, got Dunlop tires. So uh, you're going to check us out a little bit more dual sporting here in the future. We'll see you later. Catch you in the track or trail soon.